I would like to call upon Honorable Justice J.R. Mitra to please take the dais. Just a brief introduction before we start the session, sir. Honorable Justice J.R. Mitra is a retired judge of the Delhi High Court and currently a professor of practice at National Law University, Delhi. Justice Mitra practiced law for 26 years in the Supreme Court and the High Court of Delhi before being elevated as a judge. He served as a judge in the Delhi High Court from 2008 to 2021. He's also served as a chairperson of the Delhi International Arbitration Center and the chairperson of the Judicial Education and Training Program Committee of the Delhi High Court. Post-retirement service professor emeritus at Rajiv Gandhi National University Law and Balbotia University. And here at NLU Delhi, he's the professor of practice. Thank you very much. Good afternoon, everybody. I must compliment Manu Patra for choosing a very <coughs> nice program, very nice platform, and very nice topic. And when they invited me and told me about it, I was very glad to see that somebody is working on this. This is, a, to my mind, a topic which needs to be uh, regularly conducted at various platforms. Before coming to the mentor mentee program, I just give my views on the legal education and legal profession. You see, as my introduction has been given, I have been a student from I have done law from campus law center from that celebrated batch of 1982. From Indutar Syria is there, and we had five judges in the Supreme Court from 82 batch and 16 in High Court. Then I had been teaching law in Delhi University, campus law center from 89 to 92. Then practicing and then being standing counsel of the government, then elevated as a judge. At the time of retirement, I was asked to head Delhi Judicial Academy, but I declined and I came back to teaching the students. Although I have worn different hats, but maximum understanding came when as a judge I found what is the requirement, what should be the requirement of a lawyer, which I didn't understand either as a student or as a lawyer, as to what is the requirement which is expected by a judge from a lawyer for him to succeed and become a top professional. My view is most important skill of a lawyer is the communication skill, art of communication. If he does not have communication skill, even if he has 100% knowledge of law, but is not able to communicate, everything is multiplied to zero. And communication skill means art of first listening, then thinking, and then speaking after thinking, then keeping a speaking with emotions. And the test should be that whomsoever a person meets, first meeting should be the mesmerizing meeting. I give an example to the students. I say, just remember. You must have met somebody only once and you remember for the whole life. I give them an example. I said once as a lawyer, 30 years back, 30, 45 years back as a lawyer, went to Varanasi, went to a study shop and when met Mr. Martin, Mr. Tandon and had a communication with him for 10 minutes. It was so impressive. I remembered it for my whole life. After 20 years when I went as a judge to Varanasi and knew the location of the shop, I straight walked into that place this time, I didn't require buy anything. And I asked about that person, and then that person came. Many times you meet in life people who you meet only once, talk to them once and you remember for the whole life. So your communication should also be such that whomsoever you meet once, it should be, you are able to hypnotize. 
first requirement is keeping smile on the face wherever you are there and then speaking to the emotions. So I tell them, I said, the way you argue in moot courts, if you argue like this in court, you can't get a relief. <laughs> Have you seen anybody speaking with emotions in moot court? Or do we, I don't know how we, I totally disagree with the way that we teach them to the way they argue in moot court. So this, it's like storytelling. And as Professor Vatpe very nicely explained, in today's time, even whenever you go to, to some lecture, you see, the mind, our mind is such, mind waits for 10 minutes only. If within 10 minutes the speaker is able to capture you, it is well and good, otherwise it goes auto off. After 10 minutes if he starts speaking sensibly, even then it doesn't come back. <coughs> so in the court you will see that after 10 minutes when the judge is, you are arguing and he is going through the file and reading something else, it means the, he has gone off. He has said, this person is not speaking sensibly, let, him, let me find out the answer from the file. You argue like a storytelling. I also tell story also. I think time is short. We will not go into that. If you like storytelling, and keep the attention 100% of the student, then you are able to capture the field. My impression is as a judge I found not more than 15% lawyers had that perfect communication skill. And those 15% also had, they also had got the inherent talent, it is not credit, doesn't go to any law school because it is not taught in any law school. Most important skill is not taught in law schools. If you know it is the most important skill, should not it be taught in law schools? A student who comes to law school, he comes with the same talent which he had and he goes out with the same talent. Good, bad, worse, whatever it is. And you give them a very simple exercise how to develop it. I said every day you talk to a new person, whether a student or teacher, anybody, whether on a security guard or a shopkeeper, whoever you meet, and talk to him. And, and if he says, Why are you talking to me? He says, My mentor has said I have to talk to one person every day. If next day you find that person calling you, it means you have made an impact. And next day, if you call him and he says that, Sorry, I. I tolerated you yesterday because of your matter. Today, please excuse me. That means there is something I think you are not able to make an impact. I said you talk to them every day, make a list and see what is the response, how you are able to develop. And then it also involves some amount of trauma also. This is Nageshwar when he retired. He said as a lawyer I was working in theatre which helped me as a lawyer. So he said every role which you perform, I said, you go back home today, talk to your mother, talk like in a film you see a, a child talk to the mother. No child will have talked like that. Just talk like that. See the difference? Would life is a drama, you change the role. You meet the, your teacher, you talk differently. When you teach a, meet a friend, you talk differently. When you meet a, a servant, you talk differently. So it is a drama. So what of drama is also involved. Second most important skill of a lawyer is rational thinking, how to think logically. This is nothing to do with law. And this also we don't teach. It is separate science. In Maharashtra, there is a internal standard, there is a book called logic. It is separate science, how to develop it. We don't teach. And how to develop it, Professor Mohan Gopal very nicely explains. He says, there are two types of minds. One is Obedient mind, other is questionable mind. You question everything. Everything you meet, don't accept. You say, no, sorry, I don't accept. I don't agree. Prove it. And in theory, we can also link it to Buddhist theory. Buddha also said, don't believe any, anything. Don't believe what I say. Don't believe anybody on this planet. Question everything. Although in all religions they say, you believe God. Buddha said, no, don't believe. You question everything, questioning mind. You start questioning everything. Whomsoever you meet, he tells you something, so no, I don't agree to me. So you'll be able to develop a rational mind. And very simple exercise, although this is a separate sign, one has to work on it. But I said instead of working that hard, there's a more simple exercise that should go to the net, find out what are the ten benefits of drinking tea. And also find out what are the ten disadvantages of drinking tea. 
and find a person who is a habitual drinker and convince him this is poison, you should not drink it. And person who doesn't drink the convince him with the antioxidants, please start drinking tea. Benefit of coffee, disadvantage of coffee. Benefit, somebody who goes to temple, convince him, don't go to temple, there is no God there. Somebody who goes to the temple, convince him, there is no God, you are wasting your time. Benefits of drinking alcohol, disadvantages. If you are not able to convince anybody, even on this, you will be able to convince a judge that a person has committed murder or not committed murder. Will it be easier than that? And these days on YouTube, if you see, there is so much convincing uh, uh, short clips where you, you yourself get convinced after hearing them. <laughs> and one thing more you will see in, uh, on YouTube these days, most of the people, what they do, they will see a clip and then they will repeat everything content same in a better uh, communicating skill and their viewership is more. So person creates a clip by weekend, there are 10 more clips with the same content and they perform better. It is all logical. And you see, very simple thing, that one more test you can see, in a trial court, the judge takes a correct view, <coughs> passes a judgment. In appeal, the counsel argues so convincingly and is able to convince the judge on a, on a wrong view and a wrong judgment comes. Very simple, one more example I will give here before we move ahead. You see on 26th October there was a judgment in that Nethari murder matter. All of you must have read. There were 19 rapes, murder, rape with the cops, then cutting the body parts and eating it. One of the most shocking, you can say, offense which happened in the country and at the time when it was happened, it captured the full front page. So when the case started, so the case started and that the accused who was when he was questioned, so he broke down and he gave a confession. That confession was recorded, although the case was in Noida, it was recorded before magistrate in Delhi. He gave the entire version, this is look I have done it, this is where the bodies, in the, in the drain behind the house, the bodies, skulls, you can find it, everything was recovered from there. So in 13 cases out of 19, the trial took place and in 13 cases the trial finished early and the person was convicted and given a death sentence. And since that person was so over convinced that he has done it, he didn't file the appeal also. So his date of hanging was also fixed. So when the person was to be shifted to the merit jail, solving the next day morning, 7 o'clock, so in the evening the matter was mentioned before Supreme Court that he has a right of appeal and then SLP and then presidential pardon and some matters were also pending there. So on the Sunday special bench was constituted and morning 4 o'clock it was stayed. And then the appeal was filed and the Allahabad High Court 26th uh, October judgment acquitted him in all the 13 cases. So while I was conducting that mental mentee, so I showed that Discuss the judgment with the students, giving these facts. First year students, all these were, I conducted this course on first year students. And then, then we discussed the principles on how we decided the case. We said you go through Jessica Lal murder case, where the murder had taken place in, in Delhi, very sensational murder, in the presence of 100 people. And the sessions judge acquitted the accused. Then there was Kendall Mark, there was a movie. Then in appeal, the High Court convicted the person. Supreme Court upheld the conviction. Then Priya Darshini Mattu matter, where a law student was, was killed. And a circumstantial evidence was not only there that he used to do stacking and, and police complaint was lodged and he was seen near the house. Again in Priya Darshini Mattu, acquittal by Sessions, conviction by High Court, Supreme Court upheld the conviction. Then Nitish Kedara murder case. 
So he said, see the principles laid down in three cases and tested here. All the students read, they said, this is, this, this judgment, is a challengeable judgment. I said, the real SLP is being filed, you please draft the SLP. So all the mentor mentor students, they drafted the SLP, that all is like with us. And real SL, SLP is about to come. So we said, when the real SLP comes, then we can test it, test the ground which you have taken. So second important skill is the rational thinking, how to think logically. That also we find missing. Third important skill of a lawyer is understanding the fundamentals of law. You see, understanding the fundamentals of law is different from understanding the law. Understanding fundamentals of law is, what was the situation when this law was not there? What was the first case in which a situation arose and the need of this law was, was considered necessary? For example, attacking and abusing the doctors earlier was not an offence. In Covid times when the situation arose, that people started attacking the doctors who had sacrificed their life, immediately law was made out. At one point of time there was no trademark law. A case arose in one country. And that government said, how can a person copy the, the trademark of another? So law came and then it travelled all over the world. That was also a very primitive law then. Again, those loopholes were there, which were plugged, 42 amendment, then next amendment, and then then the at the at the UN level, the recommendation said that the if you want the commerce to grow in the country, your law should be up to this up to this level. Even now there are loopholes. The RTI law, there was no RTI law. Then one day the Prime Minister of the country found that a member of parliament has taken 5 crore from industrialists to ask the question. So his question is, his conscience got so pricked. He said, I'll, I'll give that law to every citizen so that no member of parliament should be able to sell the country. So if we understand the law first, you see in, in old times when the king used to justice, there was no written law, still justice was done. That one important very difference in legal profession and all other professions is very important. Justice delivery system is based on finding out the truth and then doing justice. So whole criteria is to find out the truth. How to find out the truth we all know. We have not even learned, not even the parents have told us. It is an inherent talent we have got with us. Ultimate aim is to find out the truth. So law has been made to help us to do the find search better. But basically it is, and substantive law tells us what are the rights and liabilities. It doesn't give an answer whether a person has committed murder or not, I this will not give the answer. Procedural law, CRPC will tell us what route to follow, what path to take. That will also not give us the answer. Evidence law will tell us what are relevant facts, who are the owners to prove relevant facts, what are the tests of cross-examination, what are the rules of oral evidence, documentary evidence, cross-examination. But whether a person has committed murder, answer doesn't come from evidence act also. Chief Justice Munir in his book on law of evidence, Chief Justice of Law High Court Munir's book is one of the finest books. In the introduction he says, he says finally when the judge has to pick the scale, pick up the scales and do justice, at that time neither substantive law nor law of evidence nor the procedural law they guide us how to do justice. There is no section which says this is how you will decide. It is ultimately section 114 of the evidence act, common sense. And common sense and general, if the aware, and then common sense will depend also on general awareness. If your general awareness is very low, then common sense will also, common sense will depend upon how much you have interaction, maturity. So how to develop that common sense, how to do that justice, that also we don't discuss here. So understanding the fundamentals of law, integrating all the laws is also a very, very, very important facet. And on general awareness, Dr. Arun has very nice, we, we had called him for a lecture at Gilgoti, and he gave a very nice, very nice view. He said your general awareness level should be of all subjects should be at least of the level 
of that ninth standard, he said the law students should take up their their science books and all other subject books of ninth at least that much. He said you will have forgotten. When will you open the book? You will not even remember what is written there. He said your awareness level should be at least of that level. Then also a, a successful lawyer should have some knowledge of psychology, art of reading the mind. He should be able to read the mind of the judge, of the lawyer, of his client, whomsoever he meets. And then lastly, you should know art of living. I tell the students many times, I said, let's assume you succeed in the first, first three years and you start earning 50 lakhs a month. If you don't know art of living, that money will destroy you. If you fail, that failure will also destroy you. So you should know how to live on this planet. So legal education, to my mind, should cover all these things. And only we are able to, then we will be able to achieve. And if we want the students to achieve this, then our teachers should also have that. We want our students to have that communication skill of hypnotizing, hypnotizing skill, even in the first meeting, then the teacher should also have that hypnotizing skill and should be able to mesmerize and teach the students. So teachers should also have the same qualities which the student has got. So one thing I agree with, uh, uh, with Professor Vajpayee, in today's time, he said very difficult people are not prepared to, prepared to listen how to. You see, immediately after my retirement in July 21, I started teaching in Virgotia University. And my experience in first year was that although these students are able to be they I teach, was able to absorb, but there was no change in them. So therefore, I inferred that we all listen good things, but ultimately what Professor Vatpai said, he, his book mein sab likha hua hai. But if you implement it, the book will it will not help you. If you open this book and take work on something, change yourself, then only it will work, otherwise it is a useless book. So therefore, I am not able to transform. So my aim of joining legal profession was to transform. Then I said, my impression was, then I did some research and I thought, if you do a mentor mentee course, where whatever we teach them, we give work and then ask them to work on it and show results, so that there is a continuous working, mentoring. So then I take uh, approximately fortnight physical lectures, online lectures, then two faculty members meet twice a week to the students, and then two st student coordinators who meet the, meet the students four times a week, whatever work we give. For example, when we gave that judgment of Nithari judgment, then we said you work on this, now go to the judgment, discuss, and then prepare a SLP, there will be a draft SLP. So that mentoring, my impression was that at the end of the semester, I have conducted that mentor mentoring course one semester here and uh, one semester at Pilbotia. And my impression is many of the students are also here that there is a major change and transformation in them, which to my mind is the most important outcome. You see, one more important aspect of legal profession, all of you will agree. You see, legal profession, the lawyer who, a, a, law, a lawyer on completing the graduation, he is not market ready as compared to other professions. If on day one, when he takes his degree and his father tells him that please file a civil suit, he won't be able to file a civil suit. Or father tells him that look, there is someone come from the criminal court, if he is going to attend, he will not be able to attend. So, and he has to, he gets a good senior and he gets a good training and is lucky enough, then we will be able to succeed. If 100 doctors join the profession after completing their degree, after 10 years you will find 95 of them in their profession. 100 law graduates who join legal profession, after 10 years only 10 or 15 are there. And remaining who, who leave the profession, some of them of course will go there business and do good well, but many of them, they are, you will find them outside some discharge office, stamping the affidavits for 10 rupees, 
some of them running photocopy shops, even in COVID in many places they were running photos also. So there is no, no benchmark below which a person can't fall. Whereas, difference in legal profession is on day one his performance comes in public domain. If, if we train a law graduate and we train him and tell the Chief Justice that a student will appear and he will argue his first case and he will argue better than top lawyers of the country and he actually performs that well. So, he will be recognized on day one. Other professions, the performance doesn't come in public domain. So, you will not find other professionals being recognized on day one. But in legal profession, like in films, and cricket, <coughs> let's say was a new cricketer on his first match, he, he scores 500 runs, <coughs> not get out and his ball goes twice the outside the stadium, so next day he will, it will come in newspaper. Similar first film, you know many people on the first film they became celebrities, so lawyer also can be trained, that on first day he will go and argue the, bet, the case better than anybody has argued on this planet. Another important facet, in all other professions you have when you professional charges the money has to deliver something. Chartered accountant has to file the return, engineer has to build a house, architect has to prepare a plan and lawyer when the client says, sir uh, what are you delivering me, he said, oh, I can't deliver you anything. If the judge understands the matter, he will give the order. If he doesn't understand, he will not give the order, then the will be. पर आप क्या दे रहे थे और मैंने पहले आपसे बात की आपकी बात सुन ली फिर बातें मैंने लिख दी वही जो आपने बताई लॉ ऐड कर दिया फिर जज से बात की मैंने और बातें करने कितने पैसे एक तरफ अगर आप मीटिंग मशीन रख दो और एक तरफ हमारे कंट्री के टॉप लॉयर्स को बुला कर दो तो मीटिंग मशीन शायद शॉर्टकट सर्किट हो जाएगी एंड इन अदर प्रोफेशन दिस स्टैंडर्डाइजेशन इवन द टॉप डॉक्टर इन टॉप हॉस्पिटल यू विल फाइंड स्टैंडर्ड रेट्स नो for open art surgery and surgery. Here this will change depending on case, client, everything. Another important facet in every other profession, there is a there is a correct answer to everything. Let's say you are in chemistry. There is one answer to it. In mathematics, there is one answer to it. Here is the answer. Okay. Here is the answer. When I was discussing with my mother case, I said one person has to be complimented. The person who argued the case, he has to be complimented. Jahan pe unnis rape, unnis murder, then rape with the cops, then eating the body, and circumstantial evidence of skulls are mil gaye. Usne convince kar diya ki ye to bilkul begno aadmi hai. Isko to, isko begno aadmi ko fasi de diye. So, what is the correct answer? Finally, the ultimate Supreme Court has implemented the rule. But one court has committed to 13 cases, one has acquitted. Now, SLP will go to the decision. That will be final. But ultimately, everywhere the answer changes, what is the correct answer? So, therefore, everything can work out. One person has seen, it is such an easy profession. Based on common sense, you have to just sharpen your common sense, sharpen the skill of finding out the truth, वे ऑफ टॉकिंग इतना आसान है और इतना इतना मुश्किल है तो मेरा ये मानना है कि अगर हम लीगल एजुकेशन अपने इन्फॉर्म करें और जो स्किल हम एक्सपेक्ट कर रहे हैं एक लॉयर से वो सारी स्किल हम उसमें इन्वाइट करें और वो सारी स्किल्स पहले हमारे टीचर्स में भी हो अगर हमारा टीचर ही कम्युनिकेट नहीं करें और वो भी नेशनली जो है वो डिस्कशन ना हो See, one other aspect I have seen is that the moot courts are today. There is such a problem in the moot courts. The problem is that the problem is not existing. It is not planet. There is no name of the country. It is not existing. The country is not existing. The name is not problem. And the real problem is that if you give a Supreme Court, then you can write a judgment. And that child we have given to solve it. जिस बच्चे को हमने अभी उसने लॉ नहीं समझा और मेरे पास एक बहुत रिनाउंड लॉ स्कूल का इनविटेशन आया कोविड टाइम्स में उनका दी ये जो है ये बुक कोर्ट है हमारी 
तीन दिन चार दिन बाद वो फाइनल राउंड पे आपको जज के लिए इन्वाइट कर रहे हैं डायरेक्टर आए थे साथ में प्रोफेसर आए थे तो मैंने कहा भाई प्रॉब्लम एक बुकलेट दी उन्होंने इतनी बड़ी पच्चीस तीस पेज की मैंने कहा ये क्या प्रॉब्लम है तो डायरेक्टर कहने लगे जी ये कोविड के ऊपर रिलेटेड एक प्रॉब्लम है कहीं प्रॉब्लम क्या है कोविड के रिलेटेड है कहते ये बताएंगे प्रोफेसर साहब उसको मैंने कहा आप बता दो मैं अभी देखूंगा मैं तो पहले सारे राउंड हो चुके फाइनल राउंड के लिए बुलाने आया हूँ प्रॉब्लम तो बताओ प्रॉब्लम तो मैं बताऊंगा आपको ये कहाँ से बनी कहाँ से है कहते ये बेंगलोर में एक आदमी है वो बनाता है वो आदमी है ऐसे लॉ करके लॉयर नहीं बन पाया टीचर नहीं पाया बन पाया जज नहीं बन पाया किसी लॉ फॉर्म में नहीं पाया वो ऐसी प्रॉब्लम बनाता है सबको जो है डिस्ट्रॉय कर नहीं सकते प्रॉब्लम देखी ऐसी जी प्रॉब्लम फिर मैंने देखा मैंने जजेस जो जाते हैं मूड कोर्ट में वो भी उस प्रॉब्लम खोल के नहीं देखते वो सिर्फ ऑडिटरी स्किल देख के टीचर ने भी प्रॉब्लम नहीं पढ़ी और वो जजेस जो वहाँ उन्होंने प्रॉब्लम नहीं देखी और स्टूडेंट हमने प्रॉब्लम जिसको भी लॉ नहीं है उसको समझ में आया सिंपल प्रॉब्लम क्यों नहीं दे सकते कि एक एग्रीमेंट टू सेल हुआ प्रॉपर्टी का उस एग्रीमेंट टू सेल में डिस्प्यूट क्या एक जनरल का जी मेरेडी था एक नहीं था दोनों तरफ से आर्ग्यू कर पाए आपने बुक खोलने की लॉ की जरूरत ही ना कोर्ट के अंदर जो तो सारे केसेज हैं ट्रायल पे वो तो फैक्चुअल आते हैं ये सिर्फ सुप्रीम कोर्ट क्वेश्चन ऑफ लॉ इस तरह के तो बड़े रेयर ऑफ दी रेयर है हमने उसकी आर्ग्यूंग स्किल उसकी रेशनल थिंकिंग को डेवलप ही नहीं किया हमने हम जो नॉर्मली मूड कोर्ट पे वो प्रॉब्लम होते हैं वही तो बुक खोलने की जरूरत ही पड़ती मैंने कहा कि एक केस है जिसके अंदर जो प्रॉब्लम मैंने दी दोनों जगह स्टूडेंट को मैंने कहा एक केस है जिसके अंदर वाइफ को डाउट है उसका हस्बैंड का फेयर है सेक्रेटरी के साथ पर तो प्रूफ नहीं है तो वाइफ लॉयर के पास जाती है लॉयर कहता है जी अगर आप एलिगेशन लगाओगे तो इट विल भी अमाउंट टू क्रोलिटी प्रूफ कैसे करोगे आपको तो डाउट है सिर्फ कोई एविडेंस तो है ना तो आप ये एलिगेशन लगा दो जब घर आते हैं मेरे को मारते हैं तो फोर नाइनटी की कंप्लेट लिखवा दो फोर नाइनटी एटी की वाइफ कंप्लेट लिखवा देती है अब मैंने कहा वो वाइफ केस कोर्ट में आ गया ये वाइफ है इसको क्रॉस एग्जामिन कर बच्चे वही क्रॉस एग्जामिन कर देते हैं उसके मैंने कहा आर्ग्यू करो दोनों साइड से बच्चे आर्ग्यू कर देते हैं ताकि रैशनल थिंकिंग लॉजिकल थिंकिंग आपकी डेवलप हो हाउ टू क्वेश्चन इट तो ये थोड़े से मेरे विचार थे लीगल एजुकेशन पे और टीचर्स कंक्लेव पे हाउ टू डेवलप द टीचर्स फॉर लीगल एजुकेशन एक छोटी सी क्लिप हमने बनाई है स्टूडेंट्स की वी हैव टाइम वी हैव कैन वी कैन वी शो स्मॉल क्लिप ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स आर हियर आल्सो आई थॉट हाउ यू नॉट डू इट कॉम्प्रिहेंसिव बट आई थिंक वी टू गिव टू सी द स्टूडेंट्स दीस आर फर्स्ट ईयर स्टूडेंट्स और फर्स्ट ईयर स्टूडेंट्स को अपने बिना बुक खोले जितना लॉ उनको समझा दिया सीपीसी प्रोग्राम ऑफ जज जे आर मिदा सर लाइक कम्युनिकेशन स्किल सर हमें कम्युनिकेशन स्किल के बारे में ये बताया कि हमें किसी से बात करते वक्त अपने चेहरे पे तो एक स्माइल रखनी चाहिए जिससे लोग मिसमराइज हो जाए लॉ के बारे में बिल्कुल भी जानकारी नहीं होने के बाद भी हमने फर्स्ट मंथ में ही एस फाइल करना सीखा और मोटर व्हीकल एक्ट के बारे में भी जाना थैंक यू इस प्रोग्राम से पहले मैं लोगों से मिलती थी इंटरव्यूज भी दिए हैं वाइवास भी दिए हैं लेकिन ये स्माइल नहीं रहती थी इस सेशन में सबसे इम्पोर्टेंट चीज तो एक ये सीखी है कि अब आप किसी से इंटरेक्ट कर रहे हो तो ट्राई टू इंटरेक्ट विद स्माइल ऑन योर फेस इट विल नॉट गेन यू एनी काइंड ऑफ नॉलेज बट इट कैन डू वंडर्स Secondly, how to communicate? तो communication skills ये बहुत matter करते हैं ये मुझे नहीं पता था ये session में मुझे पता चला है थ्रू आउट द सेशन जजमेंट एज अ फर्स्ट सेमेस्टर स्टूडेंट और फर्स्ट ईयर एज वेल जजमेंट इज अ वेरी लॉन्ग थिंग टू लर्न एंड टू रीड बट हमने कुछ केसेस पढ़े कुछ रिसेंट और कुछ हाईलाइटेड केसेस पढ़े जिनसे हमने उसके बाद हमने एस बनाना सीखा ऑब्वियसली मुझे पर्सनल लेवल पे ऐसा लगता था कि 300 पेज 400 पेज की जजमेंट कौन पढ़ेगा लेकिन जब एस बनाना सीखा तो फिर 
जजमेंट पढ़ने में इंटरेस्ट आने लगा क्योंकि जो पॉइंट्स मुझे चाहिए थे उस एस एल बनाने के लिए वो उन जजमेंट से मिले वी वर टॉट हाउ टू रीड जजमेंट एंड मोस्ट ऑफ ऑल हाउ टू मेक अ स्पेशल रीड पटिशन Now, as a student, the first semester and first year, I was really nervous about this because a person in my, a law student in the first semester, might not have any idea about what an SLP is in the first place. But I drafted it, and it was a very amazing experience, and I got to know a lot. So, thank you, everyone. And one of the most most important thing that Sir taught us was that the purpose of your life is not only to learn, but also to share what you have learned. Thank you. into criminal cases dissected mcct act drafted an slp on athari killings and drafted several case briefs but this program just wasn't for legal knowledge so i introduced us to dynamic meditation session imparted invaluable lessons and his vision to communication skills rational thinking art of reading mind and art of listening I also realize the difference between speaking with mind and speaking with heart, as this profession of law demands the combination of two. Through this program, I could feel the change in my communication skill as well. Knowing the world and knowing ourselves is both important, and knowing ourselves. can be done through meditation <coughs> through this program i learned the quality of meditation overall summarizing this program has polished myself and my qualities justice mehra parted us valuable lessons enhancing not only legal knowledge but also crucial skills like communication rational thinking etc has insight in drafting special leave petition proved instrumental exploring landmark cases like nithari chasikalal murder case vikas yadav versus state added depth to our understanding i learned many things which are very helpful to me in my career the advocacy skills what sir taught us were great i learned the communication skill such as smile on the face while any conversation self assessment of the voice while while any conversation i learned how to read judgment cases and how to write the synopsis and case study of the cases from making case briefs to getting into drafting of slps this journey has surely been a roller coaster without getting into the insights and into the briefs of bookish knowledge i am well aware and well learned about all these things it has all been made possible due to immense efforts of honorable sir i have also learned about the few judgments like nithari murder case priyadarshini mattu case vikas yadav versus state of up in that i have learned about the criminal procedure code basically mentomatic program ka goal yahi hai ki student ko team work aur judgment reading एसएलपीज नहीं होती कम्युनिकेशन स्किल्स जो बेसिकली सर का मेन फोकस जहां पे कम्युनिकेशन स्किल्स है तो कम्युनिकेशन स्किल्स एक लॉयर के क्या होने चाहिए ये सारी चीजें हमने इस मेंटोमेटिक प्रोग्राम में सीखी हैं दिस प्रोग्राम नॉट ओनली गेव मी अ अपॉर्चुनिटी ऑफ बीइंग अ टीम लीडर बट आल्सो इवॉल्वड मी एज अ पर्सन वाइल वर्किंग विद अस विद विद अस आई गॉट टू नो अबाउट सेवरल थिंग्स व्हिच गेव मी अ लाइफ लेसन first of all is uh, whenever you speak speak with your heart that should be connected with your soul jo ye mathematics program tha isme humne bahut sari cheeze seekhi jaise ki humne judgment padhna seekha case analysis karna seekha slp draft karna seekha jo ki mai jo ki first year student second year students ke liye bahut hi matlab difficult hota hai ki case padhna ekne lambe judgments aate hain 500 page ke rehte hain kisi ke liye bhi aasan nahi hota par sir sir ne hame sikhaya कि कैसे पढ़ना चाहिए एस एल पी ड्राफ्ट करने सीखा है फर्स्ट ईयर स्टूडेंट में एस एल पी का मतलब नहीं पता रहता बट हमें ड्राफ्ट करना सीखा है एट दी एंड मैं सको थैंक यू वेरी मच थैंक यू एंड थैंक यू सो मच